Hey there, my name is David and I will be your Linode developer advocate for this video. In fact, this video is part of a series of sorts where we take a look at a kind of a semi self-hosted Docker setup using Linode. And in this video, what we wanna do is actually kind of expand on our very first video where we installed Nginx Proxy Manager and Portainer and things like that, but more specifically, Nginx Proxy Manager. What we wanna do in this video is take a look at a way to visualize our traffic and kind of see where traffic is coming from and those sorts of things using Go Access for Nginx Proxy Manager. So let's jump over to my desktop and take a look. So this is the GitHub repository for Go Access for Nginx Proxy Manager logs. It also has added traffic and custom in here, um, but we're gonna focus specifically on the Nginx Proxy Manager portion of things for this. Uh, so basically, uh, it's very, very easy to install. We've got our Docker Compose right here. And again, if you've watched previous videos in this series, you'll know that I've modified that just a little bit so that we can have uh, data that's relevant to our setup. So let's take a look at my version of this Docker Compose. So here is uh, the Docker Compose that I've put together for this setup. Uh, this is a version three with the service of Go Access under here. We've got the image that we're gonna use, a container name, a restart policy, and some ports. This is all very, very standard stuff. Uh, below that, uh, we've got our environmental variables. We've got a, a user a user ID and a group ID. Uh, most likely, if you're using Linode 1000, will be fine for both of these. Um, we've got a time zone. Of course, you'll want to change this to be your time zone. Uh, you can decide, do you want to skip uh, archived logs or not? Basically, anything that's been archived will have a .gz at the end when you go and look at your, your logs in uh, the command, or yeah, in the, in the SSH terminal, the command line. Uh, below that, we've got a debug a false. Uh, if you're if you're running into issues and need more information, you can turn this to true. We've got basic auth. So basically, this has the option to either have kind of a username and password in front of it, on or off. Uh, by default, it is off. I'm going to leave it off. I will let you guys determine how you want to handle that. But just know that if you turn this to true, you will want to set a username and password below that uh, in those uh, in those relevant places there. Uh, exclude IPs, uh, you can say, I don't want to collect data from, from these sources uh, by putting in the IP address that you'd like to put in there. Uh, of course, everything that's uh, listed is optional here. You can you don't have to mess with it if you don't want to. In fact, you could go so far as to remove it if you wanted to do that. And then the log type is NPM. Uh, there is more information over here on the Docker Compose, or sorry, on the GitHub repository about what each of these different things does. So definitely check this out uh, if, you've got, if, you're, if you've got questions about kind of what's going on with any of this stuff here. So for the volumes here, it's saying, hey, we're looking for the path to your Nginx logs, your Nginx proxy manager logs. So we're gonna have to go find that here in just a moment. Well, we will come back to that. Uh, but below that, we've got a network of Nginx proxy manager underscore default. That's to attach to the network that we created in the very ver first video of this series. And then below that, we're just saying, hey, uh, yeah, we want to use that. And yes, it is an external. It's already been created. Uh, that's why that external equals true is there. So let's go back and find the path to our Nginx proxy manager logs by logging, by logging in to our Linode via SSH. Okay, so here we are. We're logged in to our Linode via SSH here. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I have most likely stored this in, in slash home slash Docker. And then we'll go ahead and enter and do LS. And then right here, we're gonna look for this Nginx Proxy Manager. Now, if you're not sure, because in this case, you can see I've got Nginx Proxy Manager and NPM2. So now which one which one did I use, right? So what we'll do is come back over here to Portainer. Again, we covered Portainer in the first video. And if we take a look, this is our Nginx Proxy Manager container. And right here, we can see that it's in home, Docker, Nginx uh, Proxy Manager. That's that's the, uh, the, the directory that we used. So what we're gonna do is a CD into uh, oops, in GenX, like so, and then LS and hit enter. And right here we've got data. So we'll do a CD into data and then LS. And then right there is our logs. So home, Docker, Nginx proxy manager data is what we're gonna use here. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm going to uh, come back over here to this, like so, and this, oops, let, let's, let's get rid of that. This should be everything that we're gonna need for our Nginx Proxy Manager Go Access uh, dashboard here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna come back over to Portainer. I'm going to add a stack and I'm gonna call I'm just gonna call this Go Access. So you can name it basically whatever you'd like to name it. So I'll go ahead and click on it, deploy the stack down here. And as long as we don't get any error messages, we'll be up and running just very, very quickly like so. And then we can come over here to uh, Go Access and we can click on 7880 like so. 
And just that quickly, now we've actually got real data about where traffic has, has come from, what things that have been accessed, those sorts of things very, very, very quickly and easily. All of this has been populated based on the logs that Nginx Proxy Manager has collected from people accessing the different domains that we've set up during these different tutorials. So again, by default, we are on the, the Linode IP address. Now we did set this up so that we could um, you know, access this on a domain name if we wanted to do that. So let's actually jump over and take care of that little business now. So to do that, we're gonna head over here to our Linode dashboard. We're in our domains and right here is our tutorials server. Um, so let's call, let's add an A record here and let's do, um, uh, let's do stats like so. And then we're gonna do uh, 45.79.14.131. Of course, you'll put in the IP address of your, uh, your Linode like so. We're gonna click save. And here we go. Now we're set up with stats.tutorialserver.xyz. I'm gonna copy that just so I don't have to type it in. Next, we wanna come over here to Nginx Proxy Manager. We wanna come over to uh, SSL certificates and click on add and then let's encrypt. We're going to type in stats and dot and then put that in there and click enter. Uh, just so that it is in its little bubble there and click test. Okay, so it just took a couple of minutes. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this like so and close. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say, I agree. And then we'll click save. And if we don't run into any issues, we should have an SSL set up here in just a moment. Okay, so now after just a couple of minutes, we've got our tutorial server or our stats.tutorialserver.xyz uh, domain name set up. So I'm just going to come back over to hosts, click on proxy hosts. We're going to add a proxy host. I'm gonna do stats.tutorialserver.xyz and hit enter. Our scheme again will be HTTP because there is no SSL inside the container. Next thing we wanna do is head over here to our go access right here and grab this IP address right there and take note of the 7880 on the published ports. So we'll go ahead and paste that in there like so and 7880. We can cache our assets if we wanna do that and block common exploits. Our SSL, uh, we can just say uh, stats.tutorialserver.xyz, check these boxes for a little extra security and click save. And then we can click stats.tutorialserver.xyz. And there we go. Here we can see we've got stats.tutorialserver.xyz available here. And again, if you wanted to, you could go back to that Docker Compose and add a username and a password. Uh, and of course, turn the authentication to true. And then you would have to uh, actually put in a username and password to view these uh, statistics for your Nginx Proxy Manager Docker setup. So hopefully you found this as a useful way to actually visualize the data that's coming into your server via the Nginx Proxy Manager reverse proxy. If you found the video helpful or interesting, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help us out quite a bit in getting the message out there about our videos. Uh, of course, uh, head down to the description if you'd like to follow along with this. Uh, there's a link down there that will get you $100 in free credit to check out Linode for 60 days. So uh, with all that said, I do want to go ahead and wrap this up. I want to thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I will talk to you in the next video.